So welcome to part four of my 4x4 Rubik's Cube tutorials. At this point, we should have one side completely solved, and we should have the top and middle layers completely solved for the cube as well. And in this video, I'm going to go over how to get this cross, or all the edge pieces, for this yellow side of the cube. And before I teach you how to do this, I'm going to go back to the same exact point for this 3x3 three three cube. And notice how we have one side completely solved, we have the top and middle layer uh, completely solved, and we are going to solve the edge pieces for the yellow side of the cube. And there's four possible scenarios uh, for this 3x3 three three cube that, that could happen at this point. Okay, You could have zero edge pieces to start off. Okay, Notice how we have zero yellow edge pieces on the yellow side of the cube. Or you could also have two yellow edge pieces that form this L shape uh, like so. Notice how we have a uh, two yellow edge pieces that form this L shape like so. It's also possible that we could have two yellow edge pieces that form this horizontal line or vertical line, uh, doesn't matter, uh, like so. And it's also possible that we could get really lucky and we could have all four yellow edge pieces already done for us, or already on the yellow side of the cube, I should say. And notice for every one of those scenarios that we, that we started out with, that it was always an even number. We could have started out with zero yellow edge pieces, we could have started out with two yellow edge pieces, and we, or we could have started out with four uh, yellow edge pieces um, on the yellow side of the cube. So now let's take a look at this 4x4 four four cube. Uh, look what we have here. Notice how we only have one yellow edge piece on the yellow side of the cube. Uh, this is called parity. This is something that could never happen on a 3x3 three three cube uh, that can only happen on a 4x4 four four cube. Um, so if you only have one yellow edge piece or three, an odd number, one or three yellow edge pieces, that means that you have edge parity and you need to fix that um, in order to, to solve the cube. All right, and um, whenever you do have parity, um, in this case we only have one edge piece, um, you always want to make it so you have three edge pieces. Okay, um, so the algorithm we're going to use um, is actually the same as the 3x3 three three tutorial. You always want to put the edge piece on the left side of the top face, and the algorithm is the same as the 3x3. Three three. It's front clockwise, right clockwise, top clockwise, right counterclockwise, top counterclockwise, and front counterclockwise. Okay. Um, now notice how we kind of have this T-shaped. We have three edge pieces. We still have our parity. However, we have three edge pieces now, and this is good. This is what we want before we start our algorithm to get rid of this parity. Um, and in order to get rid of this parity, you always want to put the side that we're missing in front of you. All right, And this algorithm, which we're about to perform, is actually going to flip this last yellow edge piece, and we will have all four edges on the yellow side of the cube, and our cross will be complete. So this algorithm, which I'm about to teach you, is extremely long. So I suggest that you get out a piece of paper and pencil, uh, maybe pause this, pause this video uh, during, the, during the algorithm um, and write this down uh, because it's extremely long and it's, it's kind of hard to memorize. And the algorithm goes like this. You want to you, you move the right outer and inner layer 180 degrees. You want to move the back side 180 degrees. You want to twist the upside 180 degrees. You want to move the left, outer, and inner layer clockwise. You want to twist the upside 180 degrees. The right, outer, and inner layer counterclockwise. The upside 180 degrees right outer and inner layer clockwise, the upside 180 degrees, the front side 180 degrees, 
the right outer and inner layer clockwise, the front side 180 degrees, the left outer and inner layer counterclockwise, the back side 180 degrees, and the right outer and inner layer 180 degrees. And now we have get, gotten rid of our edge parity. Notice how we have completed our cross now. We have four edge pieces. And at this point, uh, we can solve it the same way, or solve it the same way as the three by three cube. Uh, what we need to do is we need to correctly position our edge pieces, okay? Um, so let's match, out, match up this blue edge piece with the blue center. And notice how the green is matched as well. Uh, what we want to do is we want to match only one side of the cube. All right, so I'm going to place this blue side <coughs> in front, and I'm going to perform the algorithm that we did in the 3x3 three three tutorial. It's right, clockwise, up, clockwise, right, counterclockwise, up, clockwise, right, clockwise, up 180 degrees, right, counterclockwise. Okay, um, so now at this point, uh, notice how we have two sides that are correctly matched. We have the red matched with the red, and we have the blue matched with the blue. Um, but, like I said before, we only want one that's correctly matched. Okay, so I'm going to twist this so that only one of them is correctly matched. Okay, um, this is it right here. Notice how the orange is matched with the orange and none of the other sides are correctly matched. And we're going to keep this orange side in the front and we're going to perform the same algorithm. Right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up 180 degrees, right counterclockwise. All right. Notice how we still have only the orange that is matched correctly, and so that means we need to perform that same algorithm one more time. Right clockwise, up clockwise, right counterclockwise, up clockwise, right clockwise, up 180 degrees, and right counterclockwise. Um, basically what that algorithm does is just, is it just rotates all three of these edge pieces right here. And we should have rotated them correctly. Notice how the blue is matched with the blue, the red is matched with the red, the green is matched with the green, and the orange is matched with the orange. So now all of our edge pieces are correctly solved. And in my next video, I am going to teach you how to solve the remaining corner pieces of this 4x4 cube. Unfortunately, the corner pieces also have parity, um, so you cannot solve these the same exact way as the 3x3 three three cube um, all the time. Sometimes you can, but if there's parity, um, you do need to memorize um, more of these horrendous long algorithms. So I hope you're enjoying these tutorials, and until my next video, I will see you later.